it's Mo Egger. Let's talk about our radio show in a second. First of all, I'm going to be in Wilmington tonight, home of Lindsay Patterson. Lindsay, are you coming to Wilmington tonight? Maybe. Your old stomping grounds? Maybe. Uh, we're going to be at the Buffalo Wild Wings in Wilmington for Thursday Night Football, College Football Division One, College Football Division Two. I'm not calling it FBS, FCS. And uh, the American League Championship Series. We have prizes. We have me. We have beer. We have sports. We have wings. We may have Lindsay. And is, is Jillian coming? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, okay, so the, uh, before we do that, the radio show today... Um, so yesterday we talked a lot about Brandon Phillips and, and the fact that the Reds might trade him. John Fay wrote about it yesterday. I'm, I'm going to help you understand how a team looks at Brandon Phillips, how the Reds look at Brandon Phillips, and how another team might, might look at Brandon Phillips. And I'm going to tie in Andy Dalton because at the end of the day, all these guys are, are investments. Brandon Phillips is an investment. Andy Dalton is an investment. We'll look ahead to the Lions. We'll talk with a guy in Detroit coming up at uh, 420 today. And I'm fascinated by what I think is the, the, the Neanderthal take of you have to be a guy to choose who's going to play for college football's championship. That doesn't make any sense. We'll poke holes in that. Dan Claskin's 442 with help for a week seven of the NFL if you're a fantasy football owner. And we'll make fun of stuff. Starting today, 304 ESPN 1530.